this person that I had dated relatively early on in high school just sort of kept coming back into my life. He just kept on dating other people. It's a relatively mundane concern. It's a normal thing. But, you know, as time went on, it just started to really, really bother me that this was the only person that I had any romantic experience with. And he was just girl after girl after girl. I was at my cabin in central Wisconsin with some friends, enjoying some me time and listening to Melodrama by Lord. It was Hard Feelings came on, which is my favorite song on that album. I just started to get really angry. I'm like, why do I keep, you know, relating everything to this one person. And I think that that was the feeling I was trying to encompass. I remember I wrote this riff like right around the time I graduated high school. I was like sitting in my basement. I think I was practicing this Decemberists riff that I had learned that I would just sort of play for fun to practice soloing. And eventually I just started trying to kind of improvise things on my own and it went from minor to major. And then I was all of a sudden playing what eventually became the sort of solo or riff in Yes, It's About You. And on sort of a musical level and on an ability level, I didn't feel like I was ready for it. I, stylistically, it didn't fit with what I was doing and I felt like I would maybe need a full band in order to execute it. But once I was able to just sort of mess around with GarageBand enough, which was how I recorded it, in order to sort of get the sound I wanted, that I was like, wait, I really, really want to include this. It acts as an introduction to the contents of the album. I would say my favorite line of it is that last one, God knows I'm just as sick of it too. You feel like you're sort of recounting something enjoyable or that you that I like being you know sort of petty and continuing to write about this person but ultimately it was exhausting part of it too is I don't know if he's heard it he's heard some of these songs I've performed them in front of him back in high school open mics people would like call me Taylor Swift sometimes for just like getting right up on stage in front of the people that I had written about and going for it it's almost like I don't want him to take it personally <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a lot less glamorous than it sounds. It was a really very, very subtle personal reference to a choir trip. It was just us sort of sitting in the back of a car fantasizing about fun that we could have. And the whole idea is that we were making plans for this thing that was months in advance that we both, I think, knew was not going to happen. I felt like I could achieve it without a full band, but I I want to try and work with other musicians in the future. I want to see what I can make that's more upbeat because, I mean, I won't lie, I like a certain sound, uh, but at the same time, I want to see if I can do things with like messier guitars and louder vocals. And so I would say it's a step in a fun direction. I didn't actually think it would be as well received as it was. Yeah, I would easily love to go in that direction more. about 
And I hope I miss memorable last May You told me I looked incredible In my pink dress And I smiled at the floor Imagined as your mistress acutely Son of a bitch in navy blue I wrote another song And yes It's about you God knows I'm just as sick of it too 